Good morning. Hi, happy Sunday. Today is Sunday. Mujer prepare na ako kapunta ng church. Kanina, pero kainan kami ng rice. Hello!
okay? Uh, the best days are ahead of you. Amen. Amen. And uh, what the enemy intended to hurt you, the Lord intended it to be good for you. Amen. Kaya ata na iti, may isang na ang adipan, kaya na iti apu. Kaya iti pagsanggirang mo sa uniapu Diyos. You have a parang pader na pagsanggirang. No? And uh, pag nagkukwento si Jessica na gano'n, you see, the enemy intended it to to make them feel weak physically but inwardly the Lord is strengthening them. So let's uh, pray for, for Ama. Uh, may he, the Lord is allowing him to rest so that he can be restored. Kasi alam nyo yung mga season of resting or season of restoration. Amen? Amen. And I believe we add all my heart na uh, whenever I remember yung pinag-rest ako ng Lord noon, Lagi kong naalala na sabi ng Lord, dancers rest so that they can dance again. So don't get bored in your waiting. Don't get scared or fear of the future. Amen? For God is up to something. When you don't give up, when you don't grow weary in doing your part. No? Uh, you will reap, you will harvest, you will receive, you will lay hold yeah, of yeah. what you have been praying for. Amen. amen. So we we be bless the Lord. I thank the Lord for His divine strength inside and out. Amen. Amen. For the healing touch na binigyan ng Lord sa buhay ng bawat sa sa atin. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you that uh, we understand the times and the seasons that we are in. We thank you for the time of rest. We thank you for the time na kami ay uh, mag-pause, Lord God. At maraming salamat din, O oh Diyos, dahil uh, we are learning to move in the timing and in the leading of the Holy Spirit sa buhay namin, sa leading mo sa buhay namin. And Lord, thank you that today you're going to speak to us through your word. And Lord, you are going to empower us once more. I pray that this word will be received in faith to God because these are the seasons of Rebecca. These are the seasons of Isaac. These are the season, Lord God, of, uh, of uh, the outpouring. Lord, Lord, thank you. Because Jesus Christ is our living hope. Amen. Amen. Yes. That He who begun a good work in us will be faithful to Amen. complete it. Amen. Lord, thank you for giving us even the spirit of joy and gladness Amen. that the enemy is not able to take it away from us, Lord God. Yes. Thank you for causing our feet to rejoice and dance before you. Amen. Thank you, Lord, that even as we dance and worship God, Thank you that we acknowledge that you are a God of celebration. Yes. And Lord, it is your will. It is your sure Amen. and definite will that every portion in our lives is an area of celebration. Amen. So God, thank you again for the season na tatagbagyo ngayon. But God, there's rain. And where there is worship, there is rain. Where there is rain, there is outpouring. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. I would like to us to encourage po as a, as a family in the Lord. We are in the new season. Tayo ay nasa bagong kapanahonan. And uh, the world, the, the world force will make us uh, look at things that are temporary and can tempt us to look at things na they are seem to be permanent and very frustrating. No? And the only way that you can get out of that heavy atmosphere is, oh, is to have a, a new wine and a new oil. Mga sasakyan nga eh. Pagkatapos mong ginagamit yung sasakyan, di ba? Mga ilang buwan, nag-change oil ka. 
two months, two to three months, na change oil. Otherwise, pag hindi nag change oil, ma masisira, uh, gay, madadahal dyan yung gan. And uh, we are on a new year. And uh, I bless the Lord na kan nga nauma ni Pastor Caleb na suro nga, suro nga, suro nga, suro about the feast of the Lord and I would say for myself and Ama na parang this year nag-sink in although tinuro natin last time last year pero hindi pa siya sobrang nag-sink in iba kasi yung pag nag-sink in talaga iba yung pagka yung damit na ibabad mo talaga iba yung amoy niya pag naibabad mo sa sabon sa daw ni iba sabi mo sa katanong yung iba pag nakababad <laughs> iba pag nakababad so salamat sa Panginoon kasi binabad niya nag-sink in sa amin yung celebrating the feast of the Lord na uh, ngayon we will be we have challenged ourselves ni Ama din to walk in the calendar of the Lord hello are you with me no di tayo lalakad ngayon sa sarili, sarili nating timing at calendar so, and in the calendar of the Lord we are entering this is new year this is new season but in the natural it, the, it does not seem like a new year. Hello? Yeah. No? But the Bible declares no, in Genesis 8.22 let me read that again. As a year 5.7.8.3 tayo from the time of creation. So our timetable is based on creationism not evolution not humanism based on the word of God. No? So all yan ang biblical calendar we finished, we had Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, we had the Days of Awe, we had the Feast of the Tabernacle. Days of Awe, the only day in which the High Priest could enter into the Sanctuary of the Holy Temple. In the, it was a season of repentance. So, sabi ko yung mga nakarang araw ay read season of repentance pala, kaya pala dapat anda. Kung alam mo yung season of repentance talaga, di, nag-reflect ka talagang, pag may tumarating na pagsubok, Ang unang mong tanungin, Lord, search my heart. Nag-reflect. At kung maamin tayo, kailangan din na-acknowledge natin ang pagkukulang natin. Amen? And yan ako sa story ni Rebecca ngayon. Pero I want us to talk about this new season that we are entering in. In the Bible ng Genesis 8.22, magandang i-memorize natin itong verse. While the earth remains, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, winter and summer, and day and night shall not cease. So, ang mga season, si Lord ang nagdetermine ng mga seasons na yan. Okay? Therefore, uh, eto mga seasons na to ay nagbabago, pero, ang, ang Diyos hindi nagbabago. Alina po ba yun? Ang Diyos hindi nagbabago, His seasons change. There is a season for everything, and a time for every delight and event or purpose under heaven. Kailangan ma-check yung time. Dahil pag na-miss mo yung time, na-miss mo yung flight, nako, unforgettable namin ni John na yun. Ay, <laughs> pag-iwan kami ng aeroplano. And thank God, hindi na ulit na ulit yun. Okay. Pero isang kailangan tumaka sa mga ganun ng mga pressuring time. Yeah. Yung mga painful time that you have to pay the price. Yeah. But when you pay the price, you see, it leaves you a very long lasting lesson. Yeah. Hello? Amen. But well, of course, learn from us. You don't have to learn that now. Amen? Amen. Sino na yung mga nakalanas na na-offload din noon? Wala pa na pala. Kasi may naranasan niya na ma-offload. Oh, mahal-mahal ma-offload. Buti pa yung dabaw, mura-mura yun. <laughs> so, time. Okay, so God is raising a tribe of, raising a tribe of Issachar. We are arising. Sabi nyo nga, we are arising. We are arising. Right? Salamat kasi when Jessica was telling me, she heard the Holy Spirit na sabi na kunin yung oil. No, mga dapat mga ganyan na ngayon araw-araw na lahat natin na sabi ng Lord, kausapin mo daw kung taong to. Sabi ng Lord, ito yung pupuntahan kong opisina. Mga ganyan na ngayon ang mga kailangan kinukonsult natin sa Lord. Lord, anong isasagot ko dito sa text na to? Hello? Amen. God is raising men and women who, who are from the tribe of the anointing of the tribe of Issachar. I don't know. I have never been this fascinated with the calendar of the Lord if ever before. Pero ngayon, I am so eager and excited na sabi ko, Lord, this is the new wine and the new mantle 
that I wanted to walk in. I know I have, I have, we have tried to serve the Lord, walk with the Lord before, ganon. Pero uh, ang acknowledge din natin na may mga panahon na pinamunahan natin talaga ang Diyos. O kaya hindi pa nga siya included sa decision making natin. O kaya hindi talaga tayo nag-fast and pray for a certain time, for a certain event in our lives. And I said to God, Lord, today, yun ang iyak ko sa Lord. Lord, it cannot be. It cannot be. Para kung si Jacob ngayon nakikipag-resect sa Lord, Lord, ha nga mabalin. Ano nga yung panubos nga magna kami nga awan, hindi pa nag-guide mo ka niya, word mo ka namin. We have, I have to walk in that new mantle today. Amen? Tapos sabi niya, ang, ang word ng Lord na napakinggan ko this week, we are arising. Ano yung arising? Umaaray ka, but you still sing. You are arising. <laughs> Kaya kanta lang sa Panginoon. Amen? Because it is one of the weapons of the Lord na binigay niya sa atin. As it is in heaven, let it be done on earth. In the heaven list, there is worship. Go to the book of Revelation. Worship ang maula. Walang ibang marinig ka sa heaven, kundi eternal worship, singing. And when you start to sing, in the midst of a heavy heart, you bring down the atmosphere of, of, of heaven on earth in your life. Amen? Amen? And things shift. Things shift. Hallelujah. So the tribe of Issachar, ito yung mga ninumber ni David nung siya ay nagkakaroon ng, ng numbering ng mga tribo that will go to war. No? The tribe of Issachar were men who understood the time with knowledge of what Israel should do. I declare and I pray we are no longer men and women who are ignorant ng gusto ng Lord sa buhay natin. Or, or we are ignorant of what where God is leading us. Amen? I pray na we understand. Kahapon nag-uusap kami ni Pastor Ano ha? Sabi ko yung, we understand from where you are now, when you understand where God is leading you, you are now on the position of preparation of where God is about to take you to the next level in your life. Don't even ever think na what you are doing now is so different from what you will be doing 10 years. What you are doing now is all preparation or unpreparation. Or you are preparing for something else. Hello? That's why we have to seek the Lord. Lord, anya ba tayo ng bangar aramid? Iti oras kung konsyempo, iti dahil pinaguntawan. Amen? So, 5, 7, 8, 3 tayo ngayon sa biblical calendar. Let me take you ngayon sa timetable sa buhay ni Rebecca. Okay, let's go to the book of Genesis chapter 24. It starts with the title, A Bride for Isaac. The story of Rebecca is a, a, is a, a beautiful love story and uh, a beautiful uh, a, a story of discovery. It is a testimony of answered prayer. It, it is a story of how we should be conducting our lives. How should we be conducting our lives? Sabi mo sa katabi mo, well, maski na lalaki ka, o babae ka, itong life story ni Rebecca, it speaks to all of us. No? Being we are the bride of Christ also. Amen? Amen. So, Genesis 24, uh, it starts with this. Abraham, verse 1, wala dyan, was old, advanced in age. Parang mas maganda yung term na yun. Hindi yung old, ano? Yeah. Oh, okay. And the Lord had blessed Abraham in all things. So he's blessed, pero meron siyang kulang. Ano yung kulang niya? Wala siyang apo. Hindi <laughs> pa married si Isaac. Ang laki ng problema ni Abraham. Abraham said to his servant, his servant's name is Eliezer of Damascus, the oldest of his household, who had charge over all that Abraham owned. Kung baga kanang kamay ni Abraham. Sabi niya, please put your hand under my thigh kasi yun ang custom noon para mag manumpa siya. Ag, 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 uh, niya na ganun, ag sa pataka, kung nanak ni Eliezer. Nga ibiru ka, iti anak ko, iti maasawa na. Sino kayo 
ka kapag nagano'n na na manulong pa ako ipaghahanap ko <laughs> pwede natin gawin to ayun na and 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 I will make you swear before the Lord sabi doon by the God of heaven and the God of earth that you will not take a wife for my son from the daughters of the Canaanites sabi niya wag na wag mong kukuhanan ng mga asawa yung anak ko nang mula sa kanaan nandun po sila sa kanaan at that time no? pero sabi ni Abraham among whom I am sabi niya verse 4 but you will instead go to my former country Mesopotamia and to my relatives and take a wife for my son Isaac the heir of the covenant promise Servant said to him, Okay, nag-usap na sila dyan. Sabi niya, Paano kung ayaw sumama sa akin? Uh, ang sabi lang ni Abraham, verse 6, See to it that you do not take my son back there. Okay? Ang covenant niya, Hahanapan mo na mapapangasawa ang anak kong si Isaac, pero hindi mo kailangan dalhin si Isaac toon. No? Grabe yung, yung declaration ni Abraham, yung kanyang confidence in the Lord that the Lord will not make a mistake through Eliezer. And then, verse 8, If the woman is not willing to follow you, then you will be free from this oath and blameless. Only you must never take my son back there. Alam mo, it reminds me, sometimes the Lord tells us to do something, but it may not work out the way we wanted it to be. But, what is God after? Just our obedience. Pagka nag-obey lang tayo, pagka sinunod lang natin yun, we are free. In short, cut the story short, Eliezer, umalis siya, at sa pagdating niya, naglakbay siya, nagdala siya ng mga assistant niya, nagdala siya ng mga gold, well, things to give sa magiging bride. Grabe no? Yung, pinag yung, pag yung paghahanda niya. And then he began to pray. In verse 15, before Eliezer had finished speaking, sabi ng Bible, before Eliezer had finished speaking, he was praying. Rebecca came out with her jar on her shoulder. Kasi remember, ano yung pinag-pray ni Eliezer? Ang prayer niya, Lord, kung sino man ang babae na magpapainom sa akin at sa mga camels ko, Lord, Isuna dahil dyan ay, uh, that is the sign na siya may magiging bride for my master Isaac. Mm -hmm. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, ikag sabto. <laughs> <laughs> e okay lang po kung ang hawak natin palang gana. Okay lang kung ang hawak natin ay walis at timba. Amen! <laughs> Rebecca was the daughter of Bethuel, the son of Milka, who was the wife of Abraham's brother, Sinahor. Verse 16, the girl was very beautiful, a virgin and unmarried. And she went down to the spring and filled her jar and came up. So ano pong ginagawa niya? Nagsasakdo isuna. No? Kaya yung pag-iigib natin. No? Pag-iigib din natin ang salita ng Lord. Amen? Kaya dapat lagi tayong naandun sa well of the springs of living water of the Lord. Because it is in the well that you will encounter your miracle in your life. Amen? Amen. Amen. And shortcut, verse 18 to 19. Nagpakilala si Eliezer kay Rebecca. Humingi siya ng water. And Rebecca said, and she said, Drink my Lord. And she quickly lowered her jar to her hand and gave him a drink. Sabi mo, may patutunguhan yung mga pagpapainom-painom natin, pagpapakapi-kapi natin. Okay. And then, okay. when she had given Eliezer a drink, she said, I will also draw water for your camels until they have finished drinking. Usapang camels muna tayo. So, sabi ng dictionary, ay ng encyclopedia, Sino ba nakita na ng camel dito? Ah, sa Balwarte, nakita na yan ng ah, na, yeah. camels. Nakita na ng camel, Isha? Ha? Um, teachers. Teachers. <laughs> okay, camels daw, 
now they can live in harsh desert environments. Tapos, they can survive without food or water for a couple of weeks. And they can eat thorny uh, plants. Kasi makapal yung leaves ng camel. Kaya, ang baga, nagpuskol ka, nagtikar, nakalyo. They can eat thorny plants that other animals cannot. So, meron silang pagkain na sila lang nakakakain. They have an impressive ability to carry heavy load. It, therefore, ang camel is a symbol of riches, richness, and wealth. Kaya nga pagka pinapakita yung tatlong hari, di ba, na dumalo kay Jesus, nakasakay sa camel. So, pag nakikita natin yung camel, yun pala is a symbol of kinabaknang, kayamanan. Okay. A typical camel, ang isang camel, nakakailom na ilang liters. 200 liters or 53 gallons of water in 3 minutes. Wow! Eh, pasahe, nung pinasa ko rin Genesis chapter 24 verse 10, ang sabi po doon, ilan ang, ilan ang camel na pinainom? Akala ko isa lang ang camel na pinainom ni Rebecca. Verse 10 of Genesis 24, Then the servant Eliezer took ten of his master's camel. Sampu na camel ang daladala niya. No? Ibig sabihin, kung minimum ha, binawasan ko yung 53 gallons. So binawasan ko lang yung 53 na lang. Kung wari, 32 gallons lang ang naiinom ng isang camel. So times 10, ilan yun? Pinagmata. <laughs> Ang kwenta kayo, 320 nga galon. Sabi ko nga, yung maglabas ka ng galon, siguro kaya-kaya naman, mas ka paano kaya-kaya buhati ni Isa yung isang galon. Ano? Pero isipin mo, nag-igip si Rebecca ng minimum of 320 gallons of water. Pinainom niya yung sampung kamal ni, ni Eliezer. <laughs> yun yung price that she had to pay <laughs> hello hindi niya inisip na wala na yung beauty niya makita yung mga muscle niya pagpawisan siya but that extensive uh, service no? what Rebecca did was not ordinary Naku, may mga kababaihan pa bang ganyan ngayon? Really? 320 gallons. <laughs> Pwede mo mag-start ng mag-iit ngayon. <laughs> Pwede na mag-start, correct? Siguro, ini-imagine ko eh, nung sumasalog siya, nung pang 100 na. Kasi hindi pa yung grill po eh. Um, Kung man, no, grill po, antayin mo bago magpuno yung gallons eh. Okay. Ibababa niya, ilo-lower niya yung jar in the well. And she would, she did that for how many times? Because what she did was not ordinary, she was willing to go the extra mile of service. That was her definition of beauty. God is looking for men and women who would work the extra mile of service. Sometimes we are asked to do something, but if you would do the extra mile, di ba sabi lang yung teacher mo, judge, magwalis ka, hindi ka lang nagwalis, nagmap ka pa. you know that what you are doing is not for men. 
but for the Lord. Amen. And God will have to bring us to situations just like Rebecca had. No? Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and He will lift you up. James chapter 4 verse 10. So, it was a season, a very humbling situation kay Rebecca. Hindi siya, hindi siya nagsabi na babae lang ako, hindi niya excuse ng sarili niya, hindi siya naging timid, hindi siya naging passive, but she did it, did, it with, did it with all her heart. So as we humble, may serving. Sometimes it's painful, sometimes it's tiring. No? Kaya sabi ko dito, don't confuse passivity with humility. Kaya kung tayo namin, the humility, the humble, yan na siya sa o. I was listening also to Derek Schneider. There's a short message this morning. And she was say, he was saying na uh, you know, leaders today must have an opinion. You know where you stand, but you don't compromise. Kung pag naging silent ka, it does not mean that you are humble. When you don't know where you should be taking side, or you know you don't know where you stand, it's a uh, it's different. You you my humility, and you know you have a stand. Make a decision that you stand. In, 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 in your conviction sa Panginoon. So, Jesus tells us that the kingdom of heaven is taken by force. So, kailangan tayo in our prayer, han tayo nga, han tayo lang nga talna, nga nga, yung quiet. Kasi, grabe ngayon yung labanan, ga, grabe ngayon yung pang, yung tawag dito, yung hilaan sa, sa world, sa kingdom ng Lord and in the kingdom of darkness. Today, the Lord is raising up men and women na yeah, we are willing to do the 320 gallons. Oh, we have to do, kung kailangan natin, we have to do 320 times of kneeling down, raising hand, 320 times of worship, how to see beyond sa mga circumstances natin. And then we go to Genesis chapter 4 to cut the story short. We go to Isaac naman. Ano ang ginagawa ni Isaac? In the book of Genesis chapter 24 verse 63. In short, si Rebecca after niyan na confirm ni Eliezer na yun yung asawa, yun yung mapapangasawa ni Isaac. And then he offered gifts to Rebecca's family. At uh, mag i pa sana sila ng matagal doon. Si Rebecca but uh, with her permission, immediately, no, and after a very short period of time, ay sumama na siya kay Eliezer to be to meet Isaac. And in verse 62, so habang may nangyayari, may ganap na ganon, habang may ganap na yun sa ibang dako ng mundo, sa kabilang dako naman, verse 62 of Genesis uh, 24, now Isaac, had returned uh, from going to Bir Lahai Roy. Saan siya pumunta? Well of the living one who sees me. Galing din siya saan? Sa well. No? For he was living in, in Negev. Isaac went to bow down in prayer in the field in the early evening. So you see, on the other side of the world, see Isaac also was praying. Sinabi ko ngayon dito, the camels are coming. <laughs> okay. Isaac went to bow down in prayer in the field in the early evening. And when he raised his eyes and looked, hindi pa niya nakikita si Rebecca. Wala siyang makita Rebecca pa. But he saw the camels were coming. And camels were symbol again of riches, wealth, and hope. Amen. I pray and I declare that the Lord will open our spiritual eyes. Makita natin magkaroon tayo ng hope at sabihin natin, Lord, my camels are coming also. Amen. 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 At dun sa verse, uh, sa 63 na yan, so nakita natin that uh, the camels, no, na umalis are now returning. It gave hope to Isaac. Now, ang relation po sa panahon natin ngayon, Today, we are on the year 5783. Uh, yung 80, 80, 80, this decade, itong sampung taon na to, we are on the decade of pay. Pay, P-E-Y, in Hebrew is mouth. No? We are on the decade na 
When we declare ngayon, the things that we declare will determine your future. So, be careful what your dialogues are daily. You, what you hear, what you meditate in your mind. We are on the ear of the of, of the mouth. Kaya din ngayon is a war. In the kingdom of God is the war is between words. No? The the truth is being confront is, con is confronting lies today. And then the number three in the Hebrew calendar, in the Hebrew alphabet, the number three is uh, given. Uh, and yung gimel, yung camel came from the word gimel also. So year 5783 is the year of the camel. At ang sinasabi ng mga prophets ng Lord and the word of God, it is time to position ourselves to receive increase. And there are words associated with gimel. Yung gil is a Hebrew word from the word gimel which also means joyful praise. Kaya nga, kaya nga ngayon we really have to embrace the truth that God is a God of celebration and I cannot allow sadness to overtake me. I cannot allow stress and depression to overtake me. But I will arise. I will make a decision to praise the Lord. And until such time that His truth, His word is really prevailing over my mind, I can confess good things. I can think good thoughts, not only Amen. for myself, but even for others. Amen. 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 And you can give a joyful praise to the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Praising is a very powerful weapon. So every day when you wake up, sing a new song unto the Lord. Sing because it irritates the enemy. Rejoice and sing because the enemy is threatened every time you worship. And he will continue to throw blood things at you so that you will be silent and instead na i-meditate mo ang goodness ng Lord, ang i-meditate mo how kawawa you are, ang i-meditate mo what others are saying against you, and then you will be put aside and then you will be silenced and then you will be in prison and then you will be there in, in that stronghold. Hello? Amen! Amen! That's how powerful and that's how important worship is unto the Lord. Yon. Kaya nung nag-preach si, si, si Queen says, I was telling her, what a confirmation. And when God speaks and God has a confirmation, God is going to confirm because He wants to encourage you that you are hearing it right. This is also a year of marriage. Amen. 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 I declare. Lakasan nyo. Yes, I mean, Isaac brought Rebecca into his mother Sarah's tent. And he took Rebecca in marriage, and she became his wife. Yung sabi ko sa iyo, totoo ang love at first sight. Pero dapat may arrangement. <laughs> may arrangement na nangyari, eh, di ba? And he loved her. Therefore, eto ang maganda. Isaac was comforted after his mother's death. The Lord provided a comfort earlier than the sorrow came. Hello? Kaya bago ka palang magkakaproblema, inuna na ng Lord yung comfort. Grabe si Lord. And God, as we obey, He blesses the works of our hands. Amen. Sabi ng Lord, this is a year of Isaac, Rebecca, double portion of anointing. Amen. 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 Uh, pwede po na tayong minana, ah, pero meron tayong tatanggapin mana. Amen. Hallelujah. Shall we all stand up today? God will fulfill His promise. Yes. God will comfort you. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father God. Holy Spirit, minister to us this morning. Nagyaman kami ako, Diyos, for your word. We embrace it. We want to live with your word. Today, O oh God, we surrender our hearts. We surrender and we lay down at the foot of the cross. Lord God, the things that we now carry in our hands. Lord God, this is the year of camels. And uh, I pray you open our eyes that we might see. I declare that you give each one a vision, a dream, a word. Lord 
God, to encourage my brothers and my sisters today. Father God, Holy Spirit, today help us to lay down aside every heavy weight sa puso namin so that we can do just like what Rebecca did. We can serve and we can serve extensively. Lord, hindi dahil kinakalimutan namin ang sarili namin, but Father God, we know that deep down in our heart, Lord, you are, your eyes are upon us. You see us. You know exactly the desires of every heart. So I declare life. I declare your favor in those desires this morning. Come on, can you just lift your hands to the Father and say, God, I receive my portion. This is my year to stand strong. This is my year that you will fight for me in battle. I will not work on my own, on myself, but God, you will go ahead of me. Your shalom peace will calm me. I will not panic when terror by night comes or arrows fly by day. Ten thousand, one thousand may fall on my side and ten thousand on my right, but I know your hedge of covering covers me. I am held in the shadow of your wings. And though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Because you are with me. You are my Elohim Shomri, my protector. So God, I declare this blessing over our congregation, over our covenant prayer partners across the world today. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, the Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. The Lord give you a favor and will give you peace throughout this way. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah.
Tapos na yung Simbabwe, pero hindi pa rin maka-uwi. My God, ang lakas din naman ng hunan. Si Yun, oh guys, saglit. Pumunta ko dun sa labas na tignan natin. I mean, sa kabilang window. Tara na nga, Rod. Wala, walang space. Walang free space doon. 